Couple of minor updates today. Um, firstly, that you can see on screen, styling is getting underway, which means um, you know I've got just a placeholder for the actual page content, but I've got a footer in place with a couple of links, the header. You can go around the individual sections. Let me just make that a bit wider. Uh, code of conduct as well. That's in there. We need to do a little bit of tidy up there, I think. Um, on the text positioning. But you can see styling is underway, finally getting somewhere a little bit more visual, which is good for me. And uh, the nav also works down here, like so, pretty much as we were hoping um, uh, to see. So that's that's the good news. Um, oh, I should mention um, the other thing, which is the styling. I've actually opted for a slightly different solution in the engine. I remember how I mentioned about I was going to do inline styles and then like full fat styles, and I I wasn't sure if it was going to work. Okay, I've concluded uh, a couple of things. Firstly, that I should keep things simple. So let me show you what it's like on a, a normal standard issue page. Basically, you can see here. Uh, I can get rid of a bunch of that there, can I? Um, we have just the style sheet straight into the style sheet. So that is actually what we're going to do, and that would be render blocking. However, what I'm banking on mostly is that we'll, most people will come via the home um, page to the site. So if somebody comes to here, yeah, they're going to have a bit of render blocking. I don't think it's going to be that much, though. Um, I mean, at the moment, the styles are 6.5K. It's not a big deal. I mean, I hope. They'll get more, they'll get bigger, obviously. But hopefully, by the time GZIP is on, um, hopefully not a, a huge deal. It's not uh, loads and loads and loads of styles. Um, but we can still improve it. And as I say, most people, I think, are going to come to the home page, where I take a slightly different tack. And I do use the inline style. So I have a style uh, tack here with, with just those inline styles. So it's things like position information and so on, all fine. Um, and a, a bit of coloring information. And then I load via the JavaScript that you saw last time. I inject the this uh, style sheet via JavaScript. Uh, some people on YouTube were saying, well, what happens if you don't have JavaScript? Fair enough. It's a great question. That's why NoScript was invented. And inside the NoScript, we can pop in the link um, to the style sheet. So we'll get inline styles. If somebody hasn't got JavaScript, then they'll get the link uh, injected by the NoScript. Injected, it, it's it's in the NoScript. That will cause the style sheets to download, um, and then uh, we'll you know for everybody else. Um, and in both cases, by the way, if if they get it from here or they get it from the injected one, now the cache is kind of primed. So when you then go to schedule or location or code of conduct or whatever, uh, the CSS is already in the cache, and so we'll get that back nice and quickly. Um, there are some uh, final inline styles uh, specific for each individual page. So rather than making a separate style sheet for, say, home or schedule or location, if there's specific styles for that page, I'm inlining those as well. So it's a kind of uh, combo uh, of, of those different approaches. We'll see how that pans out. It could be that I revisit it again. Uh, just to show you, though, by the way, if I disable JavaScript in DevTools, hopefully all being well, we still get all the styles. Because even though we've got um, the style there, um, with the no script, you can see that that's actually now, instead of a piece of text, that's actually a link. Uh, that's actually become a thing. And you can see here in the, um, the network that while we don't have any JavaScript being downloaded, we do have the style sheet coming in as well. So it seems like a pretty good um, combination of those two uh, you know, inlines versus actual links. Um, good side is it's not render blocking um, pretty much when I do this. So hopefully that will pan out, but we'll see how we get on. So there you go. Uh, some styles in place. Good. And also, um, so yeah, the uh, mashing up of all those styles is good. Don't forget you subscribe, by the way. You, you subscribe? No. Say that again, Paul. Don't forget that you can subscribe. I mean, you, you should subscribe um, if you want to. Far be it from me to tell you what to do. Anyway, you can subscribe. And uh, you know, hopefully, you're enjoying these uh, diary videos. Thank you uh, to everybody who's been popping comments in below and making suggestions and just you know generally being involved. That's kind of what I was hoping was going to happen. So yeah, cool. I'll see you next time. Thank you.